Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to this video on 10 tips for beginner programmers to boost their skills. If you're just starting out as a programmer, it can be overwhelming trying to figure out how to improve your skills and stand out in the field. That's why I've compiled a list of 10 tips to help you on your journey. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tips. So the first tip and arguably the most important tip is to practice, practice, practice. The more you practice coding, the more comfortable you're going to become with different languages and techniques. And many of these techniques cross over into other languages as well. So don't be afraid to try new things and make mistakes because that's how we learn and grow. Now moving on to tip number two, you want to find a mentor or join a community. Surround yourself with experienced programmers who can offer guidance and support. You can do things like join online communities or attend local meetups. Just make sure you're trying to connect with experienced programmers in any way possible. And if this feat seems like an impossibility to you because it seems like an impossible thing to do when I was first starting out, you can go ahead and join my Discord, which is linked in the description, and you can get in touch with me and the rest of the people from our community. Now, moving on to number three, you need to learn from your mistakes. When you encounter a problem or an error when you're coding, you need to take the time to figure out what went wrong. And you want to learn how you can prevent this thing from happening in the future. This will help you become a better problem solver and a better thinker. I've been contacted many times by people asking me to solve their programming problems for them. And although I'd really love to help you out, I really don't want to deprive you of that learning experience because that's literally where you learn everything like you learn everything when you're encountering these problems and trying to brainstorm and solve them on your own so like if i'm just giving out the answers to the solutions to problems i'm literally depriving you of your ability to learn so i can't stress this enough if you encounter a problem you need to stand up and start dancing and celebrate or something like when you encounter a problem you should be happy you you should think in your mind like oh i'm, I'm encountering a problem like this means that i'm going to like get a like a boost like i'm gonna get a boost in in my learning so yeah just take the time to try and solve your problems and figure out what the cause of the problem was and like really dissect it eventually you will gradually become a better problem solver and thinker and this is going to help you in other parts of your life as well not just programming four is to stay up to date on technology and trends and this is important because the this field is constantly evolving like there's always a new technology there's always some cool new thing to learn and you really want to stay up to date on these things like you're not going to be able to learn every new technology of course but like you want to stay up to date on the overall trends as well as the introduction of important new technologies so that you can basically ride the tech wave and you can do this by attending conferences and joining communities and subscribing to certain technology newsletters and stuff like that but google is your friend five is to take breaks and switch up your routine it's really easy to get burnt out if you're writing code constantly every day and you're never taking a break you're never switching up your routine you don't have any other hobbies it's really easy to get burnt out that way and in the beginning you might be in your honeymoon phase where like you you're thinking in your mind like there's no way i can ever get burnt out like doing this like i love doing this like you have that thought in your mind but trust me a time will come where you start to feel like it's losing its spark like you really need to balance it out you don't want to do too much so yeah just it's it's as simple as just mixing in some other things here and there like don't make the mistake of just constantly coding every day all day and never interacting with other people and never going out with friends or anything like that you just want to balance it out and change your routine here and there number six is don't be afraid to ask for help now, I know this might seem contrary to what I just said about solving problems on your own, but like there's some times where you really just can't solve the problem on your own and that's okay as well. My main point that I was trying to make previously is that I want you to at least try to solve the problem on your own, like really give it a valiant effort. Like don't just assume that you can't solve the problem on your own because many times you'll surprise yourself. But in those instances where you just absolutely can't solve the problem on your own, go ahead and ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Like nobody knows everything. Everything. I still ask for help all the time. 
So you shouldn't be afraid to ask for help, but you also shouldn't be so quick to ask for help if that makes sense. And while we're on the subject of asking for help, when you do ask for help, make sure you give the person you're asking all of the information that you can. Like you want to show the initiative on your end because many times when people ask for help for programming problems, they don't give any information to the person they're asking. They just expect the person to magically understand what their problem is. They might give like a couple of images of what their issue is, but it's like, bro, I can't understand what your problem is from just this image. I'm gonna need you to like really break down what did you try? What errors are you seeing? What produced that output? Like you need to really try to break down everything that will help the person to understand what your problem is. Number seven is embrace challenges. Like don't be afraid to attempt to tackle difficult problems. There might be something that discourages you like in, in the field of programming. Maybe you're discouraged by like big O notation or algorithms and data structures or anything like that. Like those things that are discouraging you, those things that you really don't want to try to tackle, I would encourage you to attempt to tackle those things in particular because those things are going to substantially boost your confidence. Like you're going to attempt to tackle something that is seemingly out of reach for you and you're gonna realize that you can actually learn it. Like if you put in the time and the effort, you can actually learn it. And when you do learn it, when you are successful in like retaining and understanding that information, you're gonna just get a huge confidence boost. And that confidence boost is gonna carry you through learning other difficult things. And eventually you're not gonna be afraid of learning anything. So you need to make sure you're eliminating those fears by actually tackling those problems that scare you the most. So if there's a problem that seems too difficult for you or if there's a problem that you're afraid of trying to tackle but you know that eventually it's something that you might need to understand then i would tackle that first if i were you so yeah number eight is to keep learning and this is kind of a requirement like if you're a programmer you're required to keep learning it's it's impossible to be a programmer and not keep learning so it's really no point in this even being on the list Number nine is at the end of the list, but I still think this is one of the most important things is to work on personal projects. So like if you're a beginner, you might be taking courses or you might be learning how to program through like your school curriculum or something like that. On the side, you should pick up some personal projects that are focused on your interests. Because if you're building things or creating things related to your interests, the programming stuff is kind of gonna be like secondary. Like you're, you're just going to innately be picking up those things because you need those tools to achieve the end goal that is related to your interest. So basically, if you're building things related to your interest, you're going to passively improve your skills as a programmer. And it's going to be fun. So yeah, I suggest that you pick up some personal projects. And number 10, and this is the last one, don't be afraid to take risks. Don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid to pursue new opportunities because you never know where these things might take you. Anyways, I hope these skills have been helpful and have inspired you to become a better programmer. And always remember to practice, stay current, and never stop learning.